Hey, you boys. <sighs> you win. <laughs> you win, Sad Templar. You're gonna get it. And, um, there's a reason why I sound a bit more upset than you'd expect. Which is because I spent three hours, <laughs> that's right, three hours trying to record this deck and get some good games. And the most painful thing about this is I had one really good game against a mage. And, like, the Adoring fan, like, I had four in my graveyard and, I mean, only, like, two of them ever popped out. But the issue was, it was the only game I forgot to press start recording on, and I lost it, and it it broke me as a man. Honestly, it just made me just cry <laughs> in a corner for five minutes. But anyway, I'll show you my attempts, and I'm at your mercy, I suppose. I hope you guys at least enjoy me attempting this adoring fan deck, and I'll talk you through my logic. So basically what we have here is an item Daggerfall Covenant deck with a lot of cards which help with the Adoring Fan. The reason why it's got all these item cards is because I feel like they can get really strong if you get the right cards out. And it does mean if you don't draw the cards for the Adoring Fan, you can still manage to somewhat play this game. So, I mean, you can see all these cards here. I'm just going to skim through them as you're not really too bothered about that. And then we'll get on to what cards work with the Adoring Fan. And you might see a few of them work, you might not. But what we have here is Midnight Burial, which is just great because it can get two Adoring Fans in the graveyard as soon as you play it with actual stats which are usable. The issue is that the Adoring Fan may return, or will return apparently. It's The probability is like 1 in 10 or something. It's, it's low. It's very low as I found out. And... Um, We've got Midnight Burial, which helps obviously get two in the graveyard, excluding the one in your deck. We've got Dark Rebirth, because as someone mentioned, it puts one in your graveyard and gives you one more to the field, having more. We had Gale in the Shelter, so we could get a few more in decks, but that was mainly used in the end for other cards, just to kind of get a bit more viability out of them. And we have Doppelganger, I guess, to get more adoring fans, but just like um, Galen, that's mainly used for other cards now. And you're probably a bit confused at why this is coming out on a Wednesday. Well, because I did three hours worth of games, I've decided I'm going to release a video today and tomorrow. As today is more or less going to be my attempts, which I got some progress for, the Adoring Fan. And then tomorrow is going to be more when I lean into the items of this deck. So this one will be called the Adoring Fan deck and the next one will be called Item Daggerfall. It's also to stop Sad Templar commenting from all my videos, but I hope this is, like, something that you guys can enjoy. And obviously, if you do enjoy it, please, I spent three hours playing this deck and it drove me insane. Please subscribe if you're new. But anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's get on with the video. Okay, boys. Let's have it. Dragonline Druid. An Archer versus Daggerfall Doring Fan Covenant. Okay. Well. Uh, we got the item side of our deck right now, or most of it, as the kids will know it as. Which, I mean, cool, I guess. We can do some things. But, I mean, Daggerfall Phantom and Tome of Alteration are obviously really nice to have. And Gardener Swords is also good, because it does mean if we fused all three of those cards together, we could get pretty much free uses out of that Tome of Alteration. Which is, you know, pretty cool, as the kids might say. Speaking of multiple Tomes of Alteration, another one just swindling its way into our hand. Now, I might be cheeky and try and get off free uses of one Tome by going for Gardener next. But the things of Archer, they've got so many things like Stray Shot and Archer's Ambush and Lunchable Attacks that, you know... Our Gardener of Swords is quite vulnerable. I mean, I was tempted to go for the Rehab Battle Mage, but it's just... Then I'd be having to fight over where to place my items. And I'll be honest, I'm here to show a meme deck. And it's quite painful. <laughs> okay, that could work out well for us. I mean, they've still got free Magicka left to use. No, that's... It's not the way I would have done it. Actually, no, I guess... 
I guess that was decent because it was basically either choosing silence my dude or draw a card. No, I, I think I prefer what they did to be honest. We're going to be a bit aggro here, just kind of threaten them a bit. Dark rebuff, obviously really nice if we get an adoring fan down, hypothetically. Because, <laughs> you know, that's definitely what we're here to do. Just play one little card. One annoying little midget. You know what? Next time I do a Let's Play, I'm going to start it by just pushing the Adoring Fan off Dive Rock. Because I'm yet to do that on my channel. I'm sorry, have we come against a Silence Control Archer deck? <laughs> I mean, that is interesting. Because the Adoring Fan's immune to Silence. We've got two Dark Rebirths in hand and a Doppelganger. Oh my god. We could do some mad combos here. Like, absolutely insane. If we get these off correctly. Okay. Lightning Bolt. We're going to go for lane clears. Hmm. See, it's we could just go Adoring Fan, Doppelganger, Dark Rebirth, Dark Rebirth, Boom, Win. Well, not Win, but <laughs> Adoring Fans Galore. Or the Adoring Stands, of course. Any of you guys who ever pretend to be the Adoring Fan, you're all just Adoring Stands. Uh, sad temp you an Adoring Stand. I'm sorry to say it, but <laughs> it just has to be said. <laughs> oh, I'm losing so many subscribers after this video's out. Yep. Nice. Uh, I guess Gardener of Swords and Covenant Mail in the other lane just to get two guards in either lane, which is really nice because it repels their Thieves' Den for now. Although they've shown quite a bit of, or quite a large amount of ability to silence, so yeah. Probably should have kept that in mind. I mean, we'll get rid of that. But it's going to buff, isn't it? So we're going to have to use the Tome. Now that would have been a double Tome, but they had to silence my unit. Cheers, buddy. Not mad, just disappointed. Thing is, look at our hand right now. We've got so many adoring fan cards, but we don't have the adoring fan. Oh god, devouring flame. Oh no. Devouring Flame is like code, it's like a code phrase for um, Dive Rock. Like, if someone ever asked, oh, whatever happened to the Adoring Fan, you just say Devouring Flame, because that's less illegal than I shoved him off a cliff because he was irritating me. So, um, yeah, they might actually have counters to our Adoring Fan. I'm sorry, guys, but there is a chance that we get an Adoring Fan out and they get permanently killed. Mimi Munderstone, okay. Okay. Meme, memes versus memes. And that could have been incredibly feral if they placed it on a different unit. Just giving the ability to silence and damage a unit by one. And then gaining lethal. <laughs> what, it's like a 1 in 8 chance they get lethal off that? I mean, I guess there, fortunately, you know, it didn't cost me the game or anything. It was just you know, losing a unit that was going to pretty much be useless and dead anyway. Be silent. You know what I can see in my hand right now? Which could be really funny. I could Arcano and then just doppelganger Dark Rebirth, Dark Rebirth. And it's 20 points. <laughs> I mean, I'll need to get the, b the board ready for it. But, hmm, it might take a bit longer. Oh, I'll try and set up the board for it. This means if I get it down now, it's probably just going to get silenced by something in their hand. And we got Midnight Burial. Right, I guess we kind of just have to go for Midnight Burial, don't we, to get the Adoring Fan. Now, we'll put one Adoring Fan in the graveyard. And are we going to throw this game to put a second one in? 
I really, yep, I'm throwing the game. I'm throwing the game for a second one. I don't want to destroy that other rune anyway. I've got Arcano to do all that damage. Oh, I threw, I've thrown the game so I could have two adoring fans in my graveyard. Because, I mean, as much as I didn't want to attack again and break another rune out of fears of prophecies and whatnot, I just feel like, you know, <laughs> it's probably better to play sensibly than play for the memes. Just forget about C. The Grey Fox. If they touch my adoring fans, I swear to bloody God. They can they can fondle my goat as much as they want, but if they even dare lay a fingernail on the adoring fan, I will just end their life. And that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we just hit face. And you know what? I could just get rid of... I can get rid of the Grey Fox and I've still got enough to do my little Arcano trick, trick shot. Okay, so as long as Arcano doesn't die, and we don't die next turn, we win. We just win through what is actually a super big brain play. Doppelganger, Dark Rebirth, Dark Rebirth into Arcano. You know, that's... I, I know you guys are here for the Adoring Fan. We've got two in Grave. That's, that's pretty much... That's what you want to see. You want to see him in the graveyard, don't you? You just want to see him in the bin. But what you could see here is the biggest brain play of just remaking the deck you guys told me to to make an Arcano face smasher and that's that's the real beauty of card games and the thing is well they've got seven magical left I mean there's still a lot of chances for them to kill it but silencing doesn't matter we must protect our strong okay wait no what what no no what but but you you seriously just got lethal you seriously just got lethal. That's like a... What? What? They... <laughs> There's eight realities. In seven of those realities, I win this game. And in this one... In this one... I lose. <laughs> Fuck it, just... I'm just getting... Just gonna get two more adoring fans in the graveyard. There you go, guys. That's, that's four adoring fans, and we have a hand where we could have got a fifth, a sixth, and a seventh. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm fucking taunting them. I am livid. Do you know how... I bet they're sitting there thinking that they're the smartest man alive because they just did that big brain play, getting lethal and destroying my Arcano. No, 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 no. I deserve this game. I actually deserve to win this one. You're kidding. No. Just... They're not even going to let me get a prophecy, which could have been the adoring fan. Okay. Okay. I've, I've cooled off. I've had a short break between games because that last one has left me in fucking furiated. Um, for context, what happened was um, I had this really good game against a mage. And I, I showed off the adoring fan struts really well. And then I forgot to press record. In fact, looking back, most of these games have just made me rage. <laughs> They're all ending so terribly. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Uh, this hand's pretty scummy. I'm not gonna lie. It's not what I want. Name it. I'll forge it. Cool. They're drawing an item. Ghost Architect. I mean, Daggerfall Phantom, do you want to be a ghost architect? Are we just going to... Do I just throw this game for two adoring fans? It's turn one. Fuck it. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. You guys have got two adoring fans in the graveyard. Turn, what, three? I hope you guys are happy. I'm trying my best, everyone. <laughs> I swear, I am trying my best. It's just the issue is I can't affect their probability to return. And they don't want to do me any solids. <laughs> right. Covenant plate. We're just going to slap it down. And stop them from allowing them to just slap our face up. I swear I keep on getting games against Thieves then. I mean, it's a good card, don't get me wrong. But, mate, I'm not running any guards. You're just abusing me. Oh, I'm running a few. But it's more like items as guards. Or, yeah, 
items that make guards or guards that become guards when they have items. Two thieves dens. And Jwib. It's Jwib, I know. I'm just trying to annoy you guys. <laughs> I, know, I shouldn't put you guys through anything horrible. It's not like you've made me play um, play a terrible deck. That's slowly eating me up on the inside. And that is a combo, man. And that's going to get double buff from... Can I just say, the decks that I've come up against are actually pretty clever. Like, these are the kind of games that I'll be like, wow, that deck was really interesting. I might nab that afterwards. But the issue is I'm playing the Adoring Fan. So the only thing that's going through my head right now is when do I stop recording and can it be now? <laughs> so we've got to get past a 7-7 and a 4-4. You know what? I think we can somewhat do it. Do I just raw play that? I mean, I just realised I could have played Covenant Plate you know, um, like a normal person would have, but I guess that's just not me. Just forget about C. Oh, don't touch the... Everyone's running Grey Foxies. Okay, that's fine. I was genuinely worried they're going to be touching up my... <gasps> my boy! My beloved boy! Oh, it's so good to see him, isn't it? Oh boy, um, just gonna give that guard, get rid of that unit. Mr. Adoring Fan, how are you feeling today? I've got you a friend, but um, yep, okay, okay just use a free cost card to get rid of Adoring Fan. <laughs> the meta. <laughs> oh boy. So what I'm realising right now is life is pretty bad. <laughs> And just slap him with a Tome of Alteration and an Enchanted Ring. Who knows, maybe we can pull this one back. Seriously. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, a bit of a weird one for them to run, but whatever picks their fancy, I suppose. <gasps> he returned! He actually did it! One adult Wait. That's the adoring fan that... Guys. I've realised why they're not returning through Midnight Burial, I think. It's because that's not set up. Their last gasp isn't set off. So they're just being put in the graveyard. And because they weren't destroyed, they aren't flinging back. I mean, he will now. But Midnight Burial, we've just been piling, <laughs> we've just been piling adoring fans into our graveyard for no reason. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my fucking god, I've been recording for like three hours. Right, this is the last video I'm doing, this is the last game I'm recording. I'll do a second video of like, the games where I win with more like a kind of itemy deck, but I've got to keep this one in just because it's just hit me. It's just hit me that we've been stacking our graveyards with adoring fans whose effects don't activate because they were just put there instead of destroyed. Oh my god. I've got four adoring fans, but two of them are just completely redundant. Okay, buddy. Okay. Yep. Nice. Oh, great. Come back for part two tomorrow.